Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. In today's video, we'll be checking out the latest NVIDIA driver update version 512.77, which was released on the 12th of May. You might be unsure whether to update your driver or not, but hopefully this video will help you see what kind of results I'm getting, and you can see my NVIDIA driver settings on screen now. I'm using the HP Reverb G2 for this VR video demo, and I'm running a 3080 GPU with the i9-10900K CPU. This video shows demos for both VR and flat screen modes. Like always, I make these driver update videos to save you time and give my impressions of whether or not it's worth updating. You might see a difference in performance on your own system, so please do let us know how it's working for you. And if you do enjoy this content and want to show your support, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, as it really does help get my video out to more people. Also, I'd like to include actual evidence of the performance I'm experiencing, rather than just saying my opinion and hoping you take my word for it. After a few days of flying around using this latest driver, I'm finding the overall performance to be very good. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting slightly better frames overall, and it does look clear. In these VR demos, I'm using 100% render scale with no OpenXR toolkit, so everything's on 100 render. You can see the image on the right is slightly more saturated, that's just because the time of day was slightly different, but everything else is the same settings, so it didn't have any impact on the performance. It seems to be a good driver for Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I would encourage you to try it out. And here you can see I've got it on flat screen mode. This is at high end settings in the sim. On the right you've got version 512.77 and I'm getting a much more stable 60 FPS compared to version 512.59 on the left, which is hovering around late 50s. So it's similar, but I'd say slightly better with a newer driver. From doing these demos, I'm confident this is a good driver for my system, and I hope this video helps you see the performance I'm getting with this new driver. As I always say in my driver update videos, I think it's worth trying these driver updates to see if it improves your system's performance with the sim. If it doesn't, you can simply revert to the previous driver, or whichever version you prefer. I'm always keen to hear your thoughts on the new drivers, so please do let us know how the driver's running, especially in VR, in the comments below. And do check out my video which focuses on what changes and improvements I'm hoping to see soon in terms of VR in Microsoft Flight Simulator. As always, I hope you find this content useful. I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.